going on guys j tech here so this video is going to be a bit different from my past video and so today we are going to be comparing the iphone 14 pro versus the iphone 11 pro max so first i want to give a huge shout out to my uncle because this video would not be possible if it was for him so you guys make sure to check his channel out i mean not his channel but his handle i'll leave it linked in the description all right so we're going to start off with the key differences so as you can tell it's on the iphone 14 pro it's more of a boxier design in the outside whereas on the iphone 11 pro it's more of a rounder on the edges basically and so the main differences i noticed when i first picked up these two phones was that the notch at the top so on the iphone 11 pro we are used to the notch which was introduced with the iphone 10 which was their, for their 10th anniversary but this year apple has done something different and so apple likes to call this the dynamic notch and so basically with this dynamic notch is or well not dynamic notch but dynamic island and then so what this dynamic island is it basically changes the way you you interact with the phone but we'll get into that a bit later all right so now turning the phone to the side we can see it looks pretty similar but the buttons are more flushed on the iphone 11 pro whereas on the iphone 14 pro it's more more clicky basically if, if you can call that so we have the volume rocker it's still the same you know i think that's here to stay i can't get this yeah. oh this is oh wait hold on oh so this one on the iphone 14 it feels more firm like a nice feel to it like it's just more clicky all right but now and so when we turn the iphone over we can see that there is a 5g band on the iphone 14 pro and that just enables the 5g um services and stuff whereas on the iphone 14 i mean not 14 but 11 it's there's no 5g at all but there is a sim tray which the iphone 14 does not have basically um this phone has eSIM, so I'm pretty sure you guys know what that is. But if you don't know, it's basically an electronic SIM. Basically, it requires no physical SIM card. It um, acts the same way as a physical SIM card. But now, leading on to the back of the phones, there is a huge camera difference. A huge camera difference, okay? So, as you can see on the iPhone 11 Pro, I remember when this first, I mean, this phone first came out. Um, People were over exaggerating saying the camera bump is too big and stuff but now on the iphone 14 it's like what is it twice as big i don't know if you can tell what it well obviously it's you can tell it's twice as big so on the iphone 14 pro they introduced a new main camera which is 48 megapixels you know higher resolution um higher quality you zoom in the detail is still there Whereas on the iPhone for, uh, on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, you just have a main 12, um, 12 main center. And also the flashes, it is different. The one on the iPhone 14, it is more brighter than the one on the iPhone 14. Also, um, on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the, um, the camera bump extrudes, well, it doesn't extrude that much. As you can see, it's pretty much flushed. Whereas on the iPhone 14 Pro, it, is a massive 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 <laughs> i'm sorry i keep saying massive but this camera's big extrusion that extrudes out it's pretty crazy as you guys can see look at that compared to the iphone oh my god i can't believe we complained about the iphone 11. it's crazy hopefully in the near future that um apple would um have it flushed or something but personally honestly i don't really mind the what my mom called it the bug eye cameras <laughs> but yeah now let's get into the nitty gritty all right all right so when you first open the phone it looks the same right well besides the notch at the top and the pill but what i've noticed differently is that when you scroll and stuff like basically interact with the phone um on the iphone 14 of course it is more buttery smooth and that is because apple um they introduced 120 hertz promotion display and basically what that means is you have higher fps 
or frames, whatever you guys want to call it. Personally, I'm a gamer, so I call it FPS. But um, as you can see, it's pretty smooth. Let's just try to open. Let, let's just try to open the calendar, as we can see. So let's open the calendar. As you can see on the iPhone 14, I mean, it's a bit more smoother. I mean, let's just exit. Way smoother. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can tell from the difference. I can really tell the difference. All right, so getting into the dynamic island on the iPhone 14. Apple introduced this this year and basically, okay, so I just gotta show you guys. Let's just open the music app. Let's just search up an artist. I'm gonna search up my uncle because he plays, he has some good music. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. All right, hold on. Let me make sure the audio's down because I don't know if it's stuff will copyright me. Uh, this is my favorite song right here. All right, so you're just playing the song and stuff. Ooh, wait, hold on. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> All right, so it's playing in the background, and I want you guys to pay attention to the dynamic island at the top. So if we exit out of here. You will see that the bar at the top actually expanded and that is called dynamic island it dynamically um changes what whatever app you can also interact with it as you can see you can like oh oops i didn't mean to open that <laughs> uh you can basically open reopen it or click this and then oh hold on how did i do it or was it long press oh it was long press all right so i'm getting used to this so those are just many one of the ways. Also, when you unlock the phone, of course, face ID, everything pops up here. The the battery percentage when you plug the phone in, of course. Um, face ID whenever you buy something. Let's just try that. Oops, never mind. It locked. But look, you guys see that animation? This is not my phone, but you got you guys see the animation. All right, let's just stop playing this. <laughs> Let me see. Can I double click? No, I can't. All right, I, I tried to show you guys some other demonstrations, but it, it is. What it <laughs> and on the iPhone 11, they did shrink down the notch a little bit on the iPhone 13 but to prepare us for this moment right here. This one for the iPhone 14. Personally, I feel that this is more futuristic the iPhone 14 compared to the iPhone 11 Pro. They're they're both really good phones, I'm not going to lie, but also the um Starting price for the iPhone 14 is $9.99 and the Pro Max is $10.99. And retailers can sell this phone. I've seen it for like $400 or something. I'm not too sure. But you can just find it anywhere. So this is an affordable phone and it's really good for its price. And Apple does have it on its iOS 16 lineup. So this is currently running iOS 16. So that's a plus. All right. So now we're going to do a little speed test. So we're going to hop over into subway server and let's see which one loads faster. And as you can see, the iPhone 14 did load faster. The iPhone 11, it, 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 it's pretty crazy. But the iPhone 14 is because of the new A16 Bionic chip. Ooh, whoa, 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 how am I gonna, well, you guys basically get it, basically, oh, yeah, I messed up on the iPhone 14, <laughs> hey, I knew how to score, okay, but we're not here for to play games, okay, but basically, the iPhone 14 runs, oh, I died, it's fine, the iPhone 14 runs faster, like, the A, what is it the a16 has a 16 core whereas the iphone 11 has a 8 core so so now we're going to talk about brightness so i also noticed that the iphone 14 is brighter outside compared to the iphone 11 pro max and that is because the iphone 14 pro reaches up to 2000 nits peak which is pretty crazy compared to the iphone 11 which is like i don't know i have to check the numbers i'll edit it in but that number <laughs> next we're going to talk about the battery on the iphone 14 pro um the battery is around 3200 milliamp hour 
Whereas on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, it's about almost 4,000 milliamps. I've noticed that the battery is a bit better on the iPhone 14 compared to the iPhone 11, since the iPhone 11 does die pretty fast. But even though it's a bigger battery, um, the process, the A16 process, the A16 process does help a lot with the battery as well. Because I remember watching the keynote and Apple saying that um, it affects the battery too. So. That's, good. That's a plus to keep in mind too. And weight wise, obviously the iPhone 14 is bigger in weight size. I know it looks like the iPhone 11 Pro Max may be bigger, but trust me, this phone got some weight to it. And also speaking of the battery, Apple did bring back the battery percentage in iOS 16. <sighs> Thank God, because I hate just swiping down just to check my battery. That was absolutely infuriating, but I'm glad they added that back. So that's a little feature into there. Right, guys so now it's the audio portion the audio test of the iPhone 13 I mean phew, iPhone 13 iPhone 11 Pro Max and iPhone 14 Pro so let me know what you guys think here's a uh, different angles on the Sun let's get this done in here so oh okay I already see the difference Look at that. The sun glare on the 11 Pro. It's a bit more out of focus. Or, whereas on the 14, it's more. You see that sunshot right there? Oh, it's different. So the 11 Pro does have 2.2 aperture front camera, whereas the 11, I mean, 14 has. 1.9 aperture. It's pretty crazy. Let me know what the difference is. Let's get it more centered. It's pretty neat. Let me know in the comments down below which one sounds better. But anyways, guys, that's gonna conclude today's video. I hope you guys like this comparison um, with the camera as well. Let me know. Um, which camera you guys prefer? Honestly, I prefer the iPhone 14 compared to the iPhone um, 11 Pro, obviously, because hold on, it has better sensors and stuff, more high quality and stuff. But let me know which one you guys prefer, and that's gonna be it for today. Let me know if you guys want to see a comparison against the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 13, and. I'll see you guys next time.